section 1.8. In this section, we're going to talk about transformations, what they are, how they're defined, and then look at what a linear transformation is. A transformation T, which is a map or function from Rn to Rm, is a rule that associates each vector x, that's in Rn, with another vector w in Rm. We're going to use this notation here for our transformation Rn to Rm. So let's look and see what we have here. We have a vector x in Rn, which we call our domain which we say is mapped by some transformation, so we say t of this x vector is mapped into Rm to a new vector w, and our Rm we're going to call our co-domain. We say that w is the image of the vector x under the transformation t. We say that this here is our range, and our range is the set of all images from a given domain. Let's look at an example of a transformation from R2 to R3. Given the vector x is x1 and x2, and w is this transformation matrix here. So, t of x is equal to w. Let's let the x vector be the vector 2, negative 3. Finding this transformation t of 2, negative 3, we want to look at our um, vector w, and so we'll have 2 plus negative 3, 2 minus negative 3 and 3 times negative 3. So we notice we get the vector negative 1, 5, negative 9. And this is our vector w, which is our transformation. Um, The same transformation can be represented by the following matrix equation. A times the vector x is equal to w. So if we look at the same x equal to same vector x equal to 2, negative 3, we can set up this vector equation, which would be the coefficient matrix 1, 1, 1, negative 1, and 0, 3. And we want to multiply this by the vector x, which is 2, negative 3. If you do this work, you will see that you get the same negative 1, 5, and negative 9 as we did before. We sometimes represent this matrix transformation by this here. We say x is transformed into the matrix equation ax. I left off this little piece here. Now we want to look at some different questions that might be asked about a particular transformation. So for example, if I have a transformation um, t from R2 to R3, by the matrix equation ax times the x vector, which is equal to t of the x vector, which is equal to our w. So let's look at this given information here. And we want to find the image of the vector u under this transformation t. When we say the image of u under transformation t, all we're saying is we want to find this t of u, and since we have it represented as a matrix equation, we therefore want to find the matrix A times the vector x. Please make this correction here that is actually A times the vector u, since we're looking at the image of u. 
So if we set up the matrix equation, A times this U vector, we get the vector 0, negative 5, and 10, which is our transformation W that we're looking for. Notice that we are taking a vector U, which is in R2, and mapping it to a vector W, which is in R3. Now looking at the same vectors from our last example, A, U, B, and C, we want to look at another question. Find the x in R, the vector x in R2, whose image under T is equal to the vector B. So what is this asking us? We have the transformation of the x vector equal to some vector B. That implies that some, the matrix A times the vector x should be equal to B. But if we want to find x, what are we actually looking for? We want to find this actual x vector. And so therefore, how do we do that? We can do this by setting up the augmented matrix A with B. And then actually finding the weights of, or finding the solution to this system. So we see here the matrix A augmented with B. But what do we notice? For this system to have a solution in R2, what must be true? We know that we must want this whole row again to be all zeros for it to have a solution in R2. You should perform these EROs, but we notice here that we indeed have a row of zeros, so our solution of the X whose image in R2 whose image under T is B would be 2, negative 2. Looking at the same vectors, uh, matrix A with vectors U, B, and C, we might also then ask, is there more than one X whose image under T is B? So think about this, what they're asking. Is there more than one X? So if we go back and look here, we notice that we actually have a unique solution. And so since we have a unique solution, there is only one X vector whose image under T is B. Given the same, um, the same matrix A with vectors U, B, and C, we might also ask, is C in the range of the transformation T? So what is that actually asking us? We want to know, is this system consistent? So to find out if this system is consistent, or if C is in the range of the transformation of T, we augment the matrix A with C. You would want to perform these um, row operations, these EROs, to get the matrix into our REF. And what do we notice here? That our system actually um, is inconsistent. And since our system is inconsistent, we can conclude that the vector C is not in the range of T. Now we want to look at when a transformation is linear. If a transformation is linear, then these properties hold. That if I do the transformation of the vector U plus V, then it's equal to the transformation of U plus the transformation of V. And if I take the transformation of some um, scalar times the vector u is equal to the scalar times the transformation of u. Also, we'll see that the transformation of the zero vector is equal to the zero vector. 
as well as the transformation of some scalar times u plus another scalar, say d, times a vector v, is equal to the constant um, times each individual transformation. Notice here that the matrices contain the same properties. And so therefore, a transformation um, that can be written as a matrix is a linear transformation. So the zero transformation is a mapping T from Rn to Rm with T of X equal to the zero vector. Now, I would like for you on your own to try to prove that the zero transformation is a linear transformation. You want to start this off by um, having vectors u and v in Rn, and so therefore t of u would be equal to the zero vector, as well as t of v equaling to the zero vector. Then you can complete this proof as you have seen the techniques in the last section.